Hello everyone, my name is Freya and welcome to my broom closet. I am in a oak tree today because I thought I'd go outside and just enjoy the last days of summer here in the UK. We've just entered September and that means Maybon is going up this month which is the second harvest. It also marks the end of summer and the beginning of autumn. And the days are gonna start getting colder, which makes me sad, because summer is actually my favorite season. It also means that the kids are going back to school. I'm going to go back to university in about a month's time. So it's kind of sad, but you know, life goes on and it's kind of fun to get outside and kind of spot the changings of the season. All the blackberries are coming out, the oak trees are producing acorns, everything's getting harvested. Some days really feel like winter already. It's kind of weird how that you can really sense it in the energy in the air. But today feels more like summer. Nice day to go outside. It's a really nice day and I thought it would be a really good idea to show you some ways you can put your altar together for free, you know, just using things outside. A lot of broom closet witches are on a budget, a lot of witches are, but particularly broom closet witches. And so it's always nice to know what kind of things can you get for free and outside in nature is one of them. So I thought I'd just go around the nature reserve today and kind of pick out things that you can add to your altar or decor or practice completely free, just borrowing from nature. Okay, so what I thought I'd do is gather up some rocks, random stuff, um, I even found a bone, I think that might be a rabbit jaw. Anyway, in my divination video, five ways to divinate in the, uh, in the broom closet, I uh, talked about bone throwing, which is basically gathering up random items, including bones of course, asking a question and then throwing them out and see what happens. I'm gonna use this necklace here as to represent me and I'm gonna place that in the middle. There's sometimes like closer objects are things that are gonna happen soon or big influence and then far away objects are weaker influence. It depends what question you're asking what system you decide to use. I just gathered up some items that kind of spoke to me and they, they'll probably mean different things to me. Okay I think I have my question. You can get a lot of different directions in these readings so um so I'm being kind of specific, but not too specific because I just want to see what I get and, you know, what comes to me. Some bits fell off, but I guess that means we don't need them. Okay, so here's me in the middle. So all of the items kind of landed in a line. There's just one stone down here um, that landed down here. Nothing up here, nothing around here or here. Maybe past, present, future reading, perhaps. Can I mix it up? Think about my question. So this is all kind of in a bunch, like in this interesting downward triangle shape. Maybe energy drawing downwards. Again, this glass piece and this ceramic piece is kind of like right near me on top of me. I'm now getting like dreams, like maybe I could reach them through dreams. I need to do some more dream work. 